Right, so Adventureland is a movie with uh, Jesse Eisenberg, Kristen Stewart, and a bit of Ryan Reynolds. Uh, if you haven't seen it, honestly, go watch it. It's such a great film. It's uh, directed by Greg Matoli, who's uh, the same guy who uh, directed Superbad and a lot of other really good uh, comedy films. But unlike the other films, it's not as in-your-face comedic as, you know, they are. It's The comedy's subtle in it. But also it's a lot more centred on like the story based and the characters rather than the jokes, which is like unlike all the other films this fella uh, has directed. To give a little run over of what the film's about, it's about this uh, kid, well it's not a kid, he's a graduate from, so he's finished high school now, uh, named James, who has his whole summer planned out. He's going to go to Europe and just explore and like have fun with his friends but those plans fold over and you can't do that anymore so he has to spend his summer in the suburbs of Pittsburgh which is shit and he ends up having to get a summer job at a theme park which he gets and then he ends up starting to fall for his co-worker played by Kristen Stewart called M and like he has just got out of a shit relationship which lasted a week uh, and he's really into this girl but she's complicated and he doesn't get it, and it's all just kind of tough to explain, but I won't spoil it, so go watch the film, that's basically what it's about. And I just wanted to talk about that film, because compared to some of the other films, you know, on the same calibre in terms of creators and actors, it is just so underrated. Like, Superbad is, you know, the peak of comedy and teen movies, but both of those, but being a film with the same director team and creators and writers... Yeah, it is so overlooked, even when it's like it's a wonderful coming of age story and comedy, which people just forget about it compared to all the other ones around it. Oh, and of that same genre and era, like like American Pie is one of the biggest comedic teen movies. Uh, for good reason, it's a wonderful film. If you haven't seen American Pie, watch American Pie. But this film, you know, I'd say it's better, a lot more subtle with the comedy, but it is just a great, great film. And um, the soundtrack is wonderful as well. And it's... Just go watch it, okay? Go watch it. Yeah, it is... I don't get why it's so overlooked compared to the other ones. I guess maybe because it was just... When it came out, there was a lot more of the more in-your-face, ridiculously comedic films. And because it was so subtle, it just wasn't funny. Like, everyone expected it to be a full-on comedy because of the whole other films around it but it wasn't which I guess maybe constitute to that or maybe um, it never really had good branding when it first came out but it definitely shouldn't be overlooked and I don't want it to be overlooked anymore so go watch it you will enjoy it I swear it's such a good film and the ending is blissful watch it so despite the subtleness in the comedy my god it is genius some of the jokes that you know what, subtle comedy is always better than in-your-face comedy because it, it's so much harder to write jokes in that work and, but aren't, you know, clear as a joke. So that's a definite bonus as well. So go watch it. So good. Like three quid on Sky and Amazon and shit. And like, trust me, it is worth that. I would pay so much more for it if it were. So that's just where you can watch it.